All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Golf Club 2019 Career Mode. This is part number 21. I'm sorry for the delay in this, but I was busy with FIFA and other stuff. And also, um, the last part didn't really do as well as I was hoping. The, 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 the likes kind of dropped off for the last part. So please do, if you are enjoying this series, drop a like on this, on this video. Um, it's the best way to let me know to keep it going. Best way to support the channel. So let's jump into the Chariot Open. I did um, not put up the last round of the waste management because it was just a bit of a disaster to be honest and uh, apart from the fact that 18 under ended up fucking winning it and uh, that shit is really pissing me off as well where like if they haven't teed off yet they're not on the leaderboard so it shows you being in first position when you know well that you're not in first position like it showed that i was in first position at four under and then this guy tees off and he's leading at 12 under like how ridiculous is that they they need to patch that dude it's honestly the most frustrating thing about this uh about this career mode in real life ricky fowler and tiger were tied for the lead after round one but ricky fowler slipped back and tiger uh, is still co-leader now with justin rose and uh, that's going to be a good pairing tomorrow i hope that tiger can get the victory that would be awesome to see him win again uh, he hasn't won in five years, is it? So it would be really, really great to see him win again. And uh, let's get into this. What is, what is the name of this tournament? Holy shit. Hello, everyone. Welcome Chariot Open. Chariot Open. The Chariot the Open. Round, Sounds good. Has so many opportunities for the players to get their tournaments off to a bright start. Hello, I'm Luke Elvey. Alongside me for the call is John McCarthy. Thanks for that Long intro. Long par four to start, by the way. We are preparing to kick things off today on a fantastic course. What can you tell us about the first hole? What are we looking at? Well, John, a little bit short because it was slow. It wasn't on very slow, the fairway, John. This par four opening hole will be pretty much straightforward. The green is also protected by bunkers, but it's a large green, so hopefully the players won't have too much trouble hitting it. Thanks, Luke. We'll chat after nine holes, see what's happening. Yeah, we'll see you after nine holes, Luke. We have to listen to John for the next nine, unfortunately. Just on the putting surface. This is a, like yeah, a really tough opening hole here. Birdie. And we, oh my god, I can't even see the green. What if I flop this? Because I hate, I hate, like, if you can't see, why do they not have a full grid? That is one thing that massively confuses me as well. Like, why would they not have a full grid here? Like, they just, you're supposed to just guess the first ten foot of the putt? That seems, like, pretty stupid, honestly. But, I don't know. Very slow, but it's going to be fine. That's a perfect flop shot. See, I couldn't have putted it much closer than that, honestly. So, this one's Probably a, a good decision on our part, and we'll take the par at the first hole. Not bad. Par. That's a tough par four, so we'll take par. And starting today 505 yard par four to start off. That's quite a, that's quite something. Kruger leads at three under par through four holes. It's pretty impressive. Fletcher, that's the guy that, that was 18 under in the waste management, so... And now let's move to the second hole. Gotta watch out for him. Damn, this course is long. 477 yards this next hole. With 15 mile an hour winds, by the way. That's a good shot. Perfect, but honestly, this, this is tough. Very tough. That that's a that's a tough opening. Couple holes there, four for 477 and 505. 180 yards out. Jesus, man. Wind is big. This ain't gonna be enough, I don't think. The 180. I'm gonna hit the 192 with a little bit of loft, and hope that the wind doesn't affect it that that much. I pulled it a little. And this one's definitely heading towards the green. Yeah, it would have been too much anyway, probably. Yep, a little bit. But let's go for two putts. Wow, it's still going. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of a, a ridge there, unfortunately, but I'll take another par here. 37 foot putt. 37 foot, okay, that's not as bad as the last one at least. Okay, so it breaks from right to left at the start. And that breaks pretty much left to right the entire rest of the way. But I think it definitely breaks more from right to left, but it breaks longer from left to right. So I think it's going to pretty much even out. We'll see. Go on, go back down, go back down, go back down. That's pretty good. Pretty good from where we were, man. 
I will not say par. no to this. Uh, two pars on the first two. Very, very challenging holes. How the hell was that Kruger chick? Ficking three under through yeah, four. That hole, he will Hopefully these next couple are easy, top. maybe. All right. And now teeing off. Par five, top. okay. 630! This is the longest course I've ever played! Genuinely the longest course I've ever played. 633 yards. Jesus Christ, man, that's insanity. Uh, I think this one's going bunker, guaranteed. Okay, doesn't really matter because it's a three shotter anyway. It's a, it's a definitely a three shotter. Yeah, let's see the escape plan here. What's it gonna be? Might as well just hit the four iron and blast it up there. I'll play a little bit over to the right because the wind. Well, it looks like this might be heading for some trouble. Really? Come on, get back in the light stuff at least. First cut? No. Come on. Come on, you ain't got to do me like that, bro. Maybe rough. Okay. It's not a great layup, but I have a feeling this is going to be a... This is going to get close. Watch. Oh, no. It stayed out there. Where's the wind, man? Kind of pushed it as well, did I? And now we're struggling to get up and down for a par. This is a goddamn tough course, though, I must say. I don't know if this has enough to get there, but we'll try it out. Fast, really? Okay, it's not bad. It's a, a good chance to save a par. I don't think Just like that par too many people will be um, on and two on that side. green. No one will be on and two. 633 yards? Come on, bro. Well, probably. Dustin Johnson, etc. What is that putt? Ooh, that one's, uh, that's too bad. That's an awful putt. My goodness. This putt is for the bogey. That was tremendously bad. And that wasn't even close to any good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One over the day. One over. Not ideal, but it's setting up for this that's a tough opening stretch. We finally got a bit of a shorter hole. Not an easy par three by any means, but a little bit easier, that's for sure. Put a little bit of loft on this and hopefully get it to go far Looks enough. Like a seven iron. Well, this is definitely heading towards the green. It's not bad, but it's going to be a little right and long, isn't it? Slow down, slow down. Come on, slow down. Slow down for me. Don't go all the way down there, please. Okay, it's not too bad. It's a birdie, gents. And this putt's for birdie. Honestly, I would take level par on those uh, through these first the four holes any day. Folks. Boom, and we four got it. Bird. Birdie putt. That is a massive one right there. 15 footer into the heart. Bring him down. And we need that. There's no way this Cheney dude is 5 under through 5. Okay, let's see what How? The has in what? For us. 5 under through 5. Another 477 yarder. Literally the longest course I've ever played. Like by far. That's insane. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. Holy shit, man. Especially with the winds being 15 miles an hour, that does not help. You know? <laughs> I was not expecting it for it to be this difficult. And this is straight into the wind, too. Into 14 mile an hour winds, I'll add. And this is a 4 iron. Looks like this is going a bit long. Yeah, okay. This is a bit long. I thought maybe... Come on, back down off that hill. Is that going to come back down, though? All right, it's a, it's a chance. Like play Another green. chance, slim chance. And from 23 feet out. Just way too far left. Ooh, and that was very Wasn't very bad for close. pace, but yeah, I just... Way too far left. It's and because I've been playing this Royal Prestwick course, which was is the, the course for next week all shot. Next Man, week's all shot. Sad. And the greens yeah. break so freaking much, it's insane. And every time I'd like say, okay, I'm going to put a little bit more brick on this one because they're breaking so much, it would still not be enough. So I'm trying to, I'm still kind of thinking about that in my head. Finally, a reasonable par four, 404 yards. Finally, a reasonable one. Jesus. Should be okay. That will be just dandy, in fact. Perfect. 
293 yards in the middle yeah, of the fairway. Like that. And now From let's get up and down. Yards. Make a birdie. Get under par. This is a tough course, but you can get under par for sure. 135. A little bit of loft on that then. Taking Ooh, I pulled a shot it. with the pitching wedge. Yikes. He's going towards the green here. Pulled it, but the wind is 14 mile an hour, so don't just don't go down the ridge. Don't go down the ridge. That's all I ask. Thank you. Thank you. 28 feet to the cup from here. Not easy. That's for sure. Still overdid it. You saw how far out I was aiming there at the oh start. That's not goodness. bad. It was a good effort. Still overdid it, though. That's crazy. This one looks about uh, four feet. All right. That one it's another par. For par. But pars are pretty good around this course because it ain't easy. And that was uh, the that easiest hole, hole yet. Uh, it's going to result in him moving down. Still not easy. Standings. And Justin Rose is up there at two under, the world number one. Jamie now four under through now seven. He's fallen back a little bit. Okay, this is hole. this is a nice hole. 21 foot down, 135 yards, 12 mile an hour winds into us is the only thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go a club up, but put a little bit of loft on it. Going oh, fast! Nine, wow, mean, really? And this one's heading towards the green. Jesus, I don't know how that was fast. I'm gonna have to chip this because there's no way I can even putt from here. <laughs> That's funny. There's actually like no way I can putt this. Yeah, they even have me chipping on the green here because there's no logical way to get to that flag. Otherwise, okay, let's see if we can put a little bit of loft on this. Ooh, that one was fast. Fast, fast, in fact. But it's not horrible. It's still a chance for a par. And this is probably and the easiest hole yet, and we're, we're struggling for the par on it. Oh, I underread that one then. I always do that. I'm like overreading every putt, so then I underread the next one instead of just getting yeah, it right. Ah. <laughs> That's a horrible bogey there. On 135 yard par four, or par three rather. And one All it is is a wedge. And I messed it up. I pulled it mad. Just pulled it. Okay, hit it fast. Find now in the eighth hole I was actually kind of surprised that was fast to be honest, but I didn't think that I hit it fast. I'm gonna hit a driver here, no doubt. Slice the shit out of it. Still gonna be fine though, is it? Ooh, yes it is. It's gonna be just perfect. Good thing I sliced it. Actually, got way further up the fairway. And this is the easiest hole yet. Now it's starting to open up a little bit. This is a, a reachable par five for once. Twenty-five to the pin. I'm gonna hit the two hundred four because the wind is with us. I think the two hundred four will still be enough. Going with the four iron here. Ooh, oh yeah. I'm not too sure about bounce. this one. Bounce. Got a good bounce. No, if it had bounced an inch sooner, it would have bounced over that hump rather than into it. That is unfortunate. That's coming all the way back. Dang it. Okay. That could have been real good if it bounced the foot sooner. It's going to set up some definite eagle possibilities. All right, we have an eagle putt, though. All right, so it definitely breaks left all the way up, and then it breaks back right a tiny bit at the end. I would say it definitely breaks more to the, to the left. So I'm going to play it just off the right here. And hopefully that will work out nicely for us. Let me come back a little now. Eh, it's not bad. Pretty good. Pretty damn good for pace. And that will be a birdie yeah, to get back to birdie. a level par. Again. Another birdie to get back to level. And he is moving up on now the next that next step is to get under par. <laughs> Ooh, another nice par five. Wind is with us, 509 yards. Oh, it's only playing 447 today. Ooh, ooh. Pulled it a little. Oh, get lucky. Get lucky, baby. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be absolutely perfect. What a shot. I played for that. And this is gonna be another eagle chance. And he's Wait, is this back-to-back -back par fives, by the way? And about 170 yards to the pin. Weird course, man. 15 mile an hour winds. I'm going to hit the 145. I'm hitting a 9 iron second shot on a par 5 here. How is this a par 5? And the first two were par 4s. 
Here's this is like way tougher than the first two holes. And heading for the green. That's fucking perfect. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, and that's an eagle. It has to be an eagle. It has to be an eagle, baby. Okay, he is now on the green. And this putt is for the eagle. And he gets the eagle. Let's go. Chariot open his mind, baby. Because we head into the back nine. I wonder if you could and fill us in on move to two on the par through nine holes and three back at Kruger. The play's been pretty hot this morning and That's quite impressive. Another par five. What? Three par fives in a row? Is this real? This one's not reachable though. Me too. And I hooked that one as well. Might get lucky again. No, that one's going to hinder off. Don't go in the bunker, though. All right, light rough. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's not reachable anyway. So with himself after it's that. not a big difference. Let's see how this next shot goes. Out of the right. As you can see, 291. So, yeah, not reachable. Just pulled a little bit again. Yeah, Why am I just pulling everything good. a little bit? I was doing that with Tyler practicing for the alt shot, too. Just that much. Just pulling it every single time. I don't know. It's a weird one. All right, 77 yards. I'm going to go with the full 91, to be honest. I'm just going to hit the full 91 with that wind. Maybe a tidge of loft. Not that much, holy shit. That was better. All right, not bad. It's a birdie chance. This is definitely not as easy as the other par fives. That's for sure. Especially with that freaking wind. I might be in. Turn. Keep turning. Oh, it started turning back the other way. Ooh, I thought that was going to go. And this putt to save par. All right. It's a par. And it looks like he three par fives in a row was weird, though. He played them in three under, though, so okay, not bad at all. And now we got a par three again. What, what par is this goddamn course? Is there just a lot of par threes and a lot of par fives? Because we haven't played too many par fours, have we? <laughs> it's mostly been par fours and par, par fives and par threes. That was good. Very good. Needs to hit the upslope, though. Okay, not that hard, though. Not that hard. Thought it was going to be too far at the start, but it really we hits the upslope. Yes! Very what a putt. Done. Let's go. Putt. And it's a birdie. Sorry, I was choking in the background. <laughs> and today, currently sitting at three under par. And he's We're now second. Kruger six second under for 14 holes. Point. My God. And now we find ourselves on the 12th. It's quite impressive, sir. That should be just perfect. Maybe I should have allowed for a little bit more wind, actually. Yes, I should have. Wow, but it should get back into the fairway. Yes, it does. Exactly how I played yeah, that one. Be happy with that. And that's perfect. From 160 yards out. Bang. We're going to go one club up, and I'm just going to rip it. And going with the seven iron on this one. Oh, it's Looking just perfect. Good. It's so good. It's so good. Sit down. What a shot. What a shot into that wind. And now he's going to be digging that putter out. This putt's Damn right, I'm digging the putter out. And it's a birdie. And he moves to four under. Just two back. And after that hole, That's what we like to see, man. Uh, the standings for them. Oh, one back Still now. Kruger seconds. makes a bogey. All right, let's see what, uh, and we got a pretty goal. relatively short par four here. By this course's standards, at least. I'm going to go way out left here and hopefully get a good bounce in. Oh, I pushed it a little... That might be in that bunker. It's going to carry it. It's going to carry it. It's going to carry it. Oh, yes. It's just perfect now. What a golf shot. And Royal St. George's like sandwich. That. See you later, Darren. Enjoy that. Right. I'm going to come back to the 72. Hopefully just let that run in there nicely. Oh, yes. Caught it perfect. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, 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 sit. 
There's a hill there. It can't go up there, right? It's gonna come back down a little bit. No, nope, it doesn't. But it's a birdie chance. It's Another one. Around a nine footer. And we got it. Another birdie. And we move into a tie for the lead now. And all of a sudden, we're starting to play some really, really good golf. And we're still one shot back, actually. Kruger gets one back. Another birdie for Kruger. And this is a 516-yard par four. Only playing 465 today. Wind is with us, so it shouldn't be the monster that it could be. But we've caught that fast. Which will result in it being pretty much okay. Because, no, it's going to run out. Thought it might come back down a little bit. Come on, come back into the light. No! And I, I thought that was going to come back around uh, into the light. Ended up in the rough. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's such a long shot, it's it's tough with the heavy rough. I'm just going to hit this, I think. Caught it slow. That could have been really good if I didn't catch it slow, actually. Not bad. Not bad. But, you know, if we were in the light rough, we would have had a much better chance to get it up there. All right, the crowd gives us a, a clap, a yeah, lukewarm this, clap. This war birdie. And uh, I think we're going to have to... See, if you can't see the the goddamn thing, then it's probably best to just flop it. Because if I can't see what, what break is on the pot, how am I supposed to judge it? I mean, that's just... Oh, that's awful. Very slow. I keep catching those flops very yeah, slow for some reason. I'm trying to be like way mark. too deliberate with them or something. I don't know. Is this dead straight? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it was dead straight. Alright. And currently we'll take that. At five under for the day after that. Five under par. Also means Just one mag. On this is much better golf though. Much better, guys. Much better. Because this is a tough course too. I'm really happy with my play. I'm going for the screen, by the way. Don't care what you say, I'm going for the screen. Left and fast. That's awful. We would have easily reached it. That would have been so sand. good. That would have been all over it, actually. This is going to be ridiculously tough. This is going to be so fucking tough, dude. Holy shit, this is going to be hard. Oh, that's actually really good from where we were. I didn't even think we'd get it up, to be honest. I thought it would take a couple of attempts to get it out of there, but that is really good. 27 feet to the cup. 27 feet, and it's still for birdie, you know. This shot is that in? Is That's in. Too <gasps> oh, Ooh, that that would have been close. some hell of a birdie right there. It sh it's an easy yeah, hole. We probably should have birdied that, but... We'll take the par. We'll take the par. Finishing this hole right? After the tee shot, that. you'd probably take the par. And he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard after that hole. Seven under Kruger finished. Jesus Christ, Kruger. On the Give us a chance, feet. like. What the fuck is that about? I feel like I'm playing some really good golf here and I'm still not winning. I'm going for this, like, way up the fairway. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I caught it slow. Still gonna be fine. It's still gonna be fine. It's gonna be in the fairway. And it's gonna be a nice little short second shot in, to be honest. Maybe 90 yard or something, is it? Away. No, it's like 125, okay. The 121 should be pretty much perfect here. Oh, yeah. That's so good. This is heading towards the green. That's so good. Sit down. What a shot. What a golf shot. We're going to move within one here. With an absolutely beautiful wedge and shot there. And that's more like it, guys. Pretty. This is more like the golf that I want to be playing right now. And much more shot. like it. And after that hole, staying fast in the second place. All right, we're one back with two holes to play. Let's uh, let's tie the lead. Let's tie the freaking lead. I'm just going to hit this. I don't even care. It's going to either be short or it's going to be on point because I think that's 17. I'll put a little bit of D-lock on it. it. Looks like a 7 iron. Push it. Push it a little. Somehow got a kick left, please. No, <laughs> that was always going to kick right. <laughs> Oh, yikes. And a bit of a poor that actually would have been the perfect there. distance if it was straight, I and think. It would have ran out at a nice amount. Of that one, I think. 20 yarder? 20 yard flop? Maybe? Pretty good. Don't spin. 
All right. Pretty damn good, and that should be a par. We'll maybe birdie the last to tie the lead at seven under. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Boom! Yeah, drops on in for par. All right. All right, all right, all right. And he's going to stay right there where he was on the leaderboard. No change. That's what I'm talking about. Seven under. And as he tees Oh, it's a long one. It's a long one, but the wind is with us. Gotta be wondering it's helping we need it. We can, we can birdie one this. Stroke off the lead. Never mind. That's just awful. This one's looking oh, never mind. It's fine. The fairway. This fairway's pretty wide. I didn't realize. That's going to go a mile, too. It's going to run for miles, Johnny. I meant to do that. See, I meant to hit it fast and left. 330 yards. And about 180 yards. That'll do, yards don't get. That'll do. It's uphill. Wind is helping. I'm going to hit the 169. With just a touch of D loft. I'm going with the 7 iron on this one. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's all over it. It's in the hole. Okay, it's pretty much perfect. Could have done without that deal off, to be honest. But it's a damn good chance for a birdie to tie the lead going into the second round. The second and final round, I might add, because this is back to two rounds now. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Nope. So bad. Such a bad chance. I need to be hitting those harder if I'm if I'm going on that line. I need to be hitting it harder. Because that was a perfect, perfectly struck putt. But it's a par. It's a six under solid round of golf there, especially because that's a tough course. I think it, that's a very tough course. To I don't know how Kruger does it. Ricky Fowler, yeah, four under, is the only named on guy on the top of the leaderboard. And, three rounds to go. and uh, I'll be to yeah, on this effort. thanks for watching, guys. I really on appreciate it. John, I'm Luke. Catch you again tomorrow. That man had a better front nine score than me. We had a great back nine score, though, 31. And we're winning the rivalry only by two. So Gomez is uh, coming close to us now. And this chick, this South African chick, apparently saw, shot 65 on that on that long course. That makes uh, that makes perfectly logical sense. Not, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, remember what I said. Please do support the videos by hitting that like button. Let's hit 100 likes on this part. I'd love to hit 100 likes per part until the end of the series, but that's kind of a big, big ask. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.